Hey guys and welcome back to episode number 8 of the Ryo Viacano career mode save here on FIFA 19. As you see our first match here is against Levante as we try to get things back on track after we lost a couple games in the last episode, especially simming the Real Batiste game, losing the Ibar game, and uh, losing the Real Madrid game, the, the Madrid derby game obviously. So we come into the game against Levante sitting in 10th, I'm pretty sure, uh, as, as we saw the table there. As we host Levante here at home in the Estadio de Vallecas, as we see our lineup here, it's a change lineup. We have Vallejo in. So not Valle what am I saying, Vallejo? I mean, Juan Foyth in, as we're facing a struggling Levante side. And we see that three minutes into the match, like against the Valencia game in the last episode, we open the scoring three minutes in. And who is it? None other than Alvaro Medran who opens the scoring year, the number four gets another goal to the season. This Our team is starting to really show some form, especially through the players in midfield. They're starting to get goals, and uh, Madran is no exception to that claim, as he gets himself a goal, and I'm pretty sure it's the f his fifth goal of the season. Uh, as we're about to see, as we see the goal from all angles, another goal of the season contender. It seems like every episode we... we we find a way to make every goal a bit better than the other. And we see there we saw it on the touchline. And uh, no, it's his fourth goal this season, sorry. Alvaro Madran getting a goal there. And 40 minutes in, Levante have a chance, but Alberto denies them like he always does. They get a corner, but that falls to nothing. We get a corner 20 minutes in. The ball headed back out. Uh, Advincula finds it. Brian Diaz, with a couple of fake shots, finds Medran, who opens it up to his left with a brilliant fake shot and finds the same exact corner two times in a row to make it 2-0 in the 21st minute. Alvaro Medran on fire, Rayo Vallecano on fire, the study of the Vallecas bouncing, and it's 2-0 to the home side here against a struggling Levante side. And Brian Diaz gets another assist, but a sensational goal yet again on Medran. And uh, the goals keep on flowing and let the floodgates open here as we lead 2-0 on Levante just uh, 21 minutes in. Not even close to half time, but still we double our lead against our opponents. And now he gets his fifth goal of the season, Alvaro Medran. 31 minutes in and Levante have a chance and the strike comes off. It comes off the post. So here we get another chance, 37 minutes in. Brilliant ball by Wilfred Bonnier to find Kakuta. And Kakuta makes no mistake, one of our best players this season as well. The number 10, Gail Kakuta, makes it 3-0 with his weak or right foot. Takes it down like an absolute champion. And look at this, brilliant pass by Wilfred Bonnier. Takes it down with his left foot and no mistake with his weak or right foot to find the corner and beat the keeper. Look at this from this angle. Number 10 with a brilliant with brilliant technique to find the side netting there. Brilliant goal by Gel Kakuta. And it's 3-0 here at home. And what a way we're bouncing back here uh, against Levante here. Uh, in comparison to the last episode where we lost a bunch of games. Brilliant fighting spirit by a team to bounce back. And 48 minutes in. Look at this piece of skill by Kakuta. Bounces, uh, dribbles, juggles the ball over one player. Juggles it over the other player. And then takes a strike on after stealing the ball. After losing it from the defender, Corner. almost gets uh, another goal of the season contender there. Brilliant uh, effort by Kakuta, almost gets the goal of the season. That will be half time or a goal of the season contender as we always seem to do in this career mode every episode. And that will be half time as there we see the featured players, Alvaro Medran. We've got two goals and four attempts, and it's 3 0 going into half time with a double from Medran and one from Gail Kakuta. But 27 minutes in, uh, Levante get the first try, and 66 minutes in, Levante get another chance, but it's parried by the goalkeeper again, Alberto, with an equal save. 81 minutes in, as nothing really happened in this game. The ball bounces off the crossbar with a weird, unorthodox strike by the Levante a player outside the box. It hits the crossbar, drops to a player, I think it's um, Sadiku. Number 30, who came on actually in this game, and there was no chance for, I think it was Moreno, who was marking Sadiku to win that back. Alberto was in no man's land, and no, it was at Vinculo was marking Sadiku, and he rose to the highest and made it 3-1 here, but surely, surely there was no way for the, for the, uh, uh, for the wayside to come back here, 
as the Thomas who came in as a substitute, sorry for the number one. Cross. The Thomas who came as a substitute and hit the, the post, but that would make it the end of the and game. Is, Three one, the final over. score. A comfortable win from us here in the side of the Vallecas here at home, and we come back, bounce, uh, we bounce back after the defeat to Real Madrid. The three-one victory against Levante. Here we get a couple offers from Ireland and and uh, Iceland, and I was pretty interested in the Iceland job to be honest. But I want to hear from you. Do you think I should take a, a international management job or not? Uh, that'd be interesting to know. As here we finally are in the Jan Trans window as well. So we try making our first signing, Danny Olmo, who has been scouting for a long time uh, from Dinamo Zagreb, the twenty-year-old, seventy-seven rated uh, winger. Who, uh, we're trying to uh, we're going to plan to operate through uh, the camp position as we managed to agree terms with the Dinamo Zagreb manager. Now we're trying to agree terms with uh, Dani Olmo because he claims he he wants to be a crucial first team player, four year contract, and twelve thousand five hundred a week. He gets a down pay, and I love when players get down pays uh, to join you. As so we see, Dani Olmo is actually injured when we signed him. So how unlucky were we as we uh, gave him the number eighteen? I'm pretty sure. We were thinking of giving the seven, the six to a Moreno and changing him to number seven, but no, we gave him the number eighteen. He was when we when we signed him, he was injured for three weeks. We didn't know that was a thing until we signed him. So you're gonna see him in the next episode where we'll face uh, Real Betis, uh, and in the cup, and uh, here we see. The Rava, the here we are now in our second and final game of this episode. Due to the transfer window, we are the second last, uh, second and last. We have two games uh, in this episode instead of three, and uh, brilliant team play as we, it's a fully changed side for the cup tie that's coming up next. Uh, last Bengura opens the scoring in the nineteenth minute, then the twelfth, twelfth minute, the number nineteen. Sorry, with a brilliant uh, passing move by uh, Raya Vallecano to find him as he uh, replaces Gael Kakuta due to the fact that we want to keep players uh, fit for that cup tie game in the quarterfinals. And uh, last Bengura with a brilliant strike there to make it 1-0 only a couple minutes into the game. And the uh, 12 minutes into the game. So like last game, we opened scoring very early, very early on and he gets his first goal of the season also on Bengura. As uh, Mark Roca now on the ball, he's another player we brought in uh, in this game, to rest uh, Jenny Limbula for the cup tie game, and Wilfred Boney, a familiar face on the goal scoring on the scoring sheet, makes it two nil in the thirty one uh, in the thirty first minute, as he goes to celebrate with me on the touchline, two nil here, and Rava Carlos seem to be cruising, as we seem to look for another three points here, and this time away from home against another newly promoted side in the shape of uh, um, Valverde. As we make we double our a lead into being two nil here in the thirty first minute, no chance for Yoel in goal. And Wilfred Boney on fire, are being our main striker this season, and I think this is his seventh goal. Yep, seventh goal here, thirty two uh, minutes in. And uh, look at this for Brian Diaz. I have to I have to show this piece uh, this piece of skill because sensational work by Brian Diaz here. As that ball finds Medran and Wilfred Boney with a brilliant touch to over to overlap his defender and a brilliant finish to the top corner. Another goal of the season contender here with a brilliant piece of skill by Brian Diaz making the, the whole attack happen. And Wilfred Boney gets the second goal of the game and surely wraps this game up here only in the first half, like we did against Levante. 3 0 away from home with, a weak inside, with us lining up a weaker side. And Wilfred Boney makes no mistake making it his second goal of the match and making it his eighth goal of the season in, to in total. So and we played around here in the defense, but look at this for a mistake by us in the 45th minute. And we won't get a clean sheet as their new signing, Naiman, who made his debut, the Swede, signed from some Swedish club, I don't remember from, from where, he actually gets a debut day goal. So they do uh, make it 3-1, but surely that would be a consolation because we were leading 3-1 and there's no way that we were going to allow Real Valladolid, who in this game are also struggling to get back into this game. But a brilliant finish by him. Alberto maybe could have done better because his near post. A brilliant finish by the Swede anyways uh, to get himself a debut day goal and a consolation goal. So they received 45th minute. That's his first goal of the season. But 
you're asking yourself probably, why are we keeping the silent on? And that's because exactly after uh, they scored, we came on the, on the counterattack, and Moreno found Brian Diaz, who had a terrific run there to, find that, to have individual pieces of brilliance there to beat the same defender twice and find the back of the net for a second goal of the season. So we make it 4-1, scoring five goals, both teams scoring five goals in total in the first half. With a, So a, a brilliant game for the neutrals, a brilliant goal there by Brian Diaz. Really nice goals we're scoring here with Ryo Vallecano. Everyone, every goal seems to be better than the next. And that one is definitely a beauty by Brian Diaz, who gets the second goal of the season. And uh, the 19-year-old makes it 4-1 in the 45th minute. And that would do it for the first half. So a brilliant uh, action-packed first half that was from us. But uh, you're 64 minutes in. We get on another attack, and look at this. Bra Wilfred Boney makes it 5-1 to Ryo Vallecano with a brilliant piece of play again by us as we came into halftime 4-1. 66 minutes in, we make it we make it 5-1. And look at this by Wilfred Boney sending his uh, marker or his, his defender on the floor and finding the top corner with his weaker four-star uh, weak foot left foot and that was a brilliant goal by him and that makes it his hat trick for this game and his ninth goal in the season so far so Wilfred Boney on fire and that is a hat trick for Wilfred Boney for the Avorian who makes it nine goals this season as after that he got subbed off with a wonderful reception from the crowd 67 minutes and to sub on De Tomas but there and then in the 84th minute I'm sorry that we can I couldn't show you the 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 first part of the goal, but here you can see the, the highlight. I think something was corrupted by by the with the video there, so I couldn't I couldn't show you the the live action goal that occurred. But here's the replay: Play, uh, piano, uh, piano or plano. I don't know, I, I, we're about to see. I don't remember his name fully. Makes it five two, and surely now there won't be a comeback. But Ralva delete. Yeah, plano. Let's go plano. Eighty fifth minute makes it. Uh, 5-2, that evaded to nothing, as we got the three points here away from home, and Wilford Boney gets the batch ball, and the final score here away from home is 5-2, brilliant performance by us, but here, that'll do it for the next, that'll do it, that'll do it for the next episode, I'll go through the Celta Vigo game off camera, because it is the quarterfinal tie, uh, and I'll show, and I'll show you how, in the next episode you'll see how it went. So that'll be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Episode number eight for the Rival Kind of series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, peace.